at one point in the prac, you'll be using the adding subtracting function on the oscilloscope to add and subtract voltages. Now at that point in the prac, what you will have done is you will have connected up the signal generator to two resistors as I have done here. Signal generator is connected to the two resistors, the standard resistors that are in this little box. I would have connected up the series circuit like this and I would note that this point which is the black wire is the wire that is earthed. This is the earth connection, very important which you have seen from the previous exercise. When I connect up the oscilloscope and I hear I'm using the dual channel facility for the oscilloscope, I'm going to connect the earth wire, any one of the two black wires of the oscilloscope which is connected to the earth connection, I'm going to connect the earth connection of the oscilloscope to this bottom point which is also the earth point of the signal generator which as you will know is also an earth loop through the power supply. I'll connect it up this black wire and then I'll connect the red wire from channel 1 which is the input to channel 1 to the top of the two resistors and I'll connect the red wire from channel 2 to this point between the two resistors. By adjusting this selection switch I can either have a look at, by selecting channel 1, I will see the voltage that goes in on channel 1 and if I select this to channel 2 I'll see the voltage on channel 2. Note something really important about where I've put my hands. The oscilloscope always reads voltages on these in inputs with respect to the ground. In other words, channel 1 voltage is the voltage from this point with respect to ground. And the channel 2 voltage is reading from that point with respect to ground. The problem that we have now, of course, is, well, how do we find that voltage? Because that is one input, that is the other input. How would I find that voltage? And the answer is really quite simple. The oscilloscope allows you to do that straight away. What it does is, it gives you the function, you can press the invert button, and what that will do is it will turn channel 2 upside down, in other words put a minus sign between them, and then you can press the add function. What that will do is it will take the voltage on channel 1, subtract the voltage on channel 2 and what it will give you remaining is the voltage between those two points. So the invert and add function together actually subtracts one voltage from the other so it will give you that voltage minus that one leaves you with that one. And whatever you see once you've got this on add and that on invert, whatever signal you see there is that voltage. And you just do a normal type B analysis of that signal. And that's all there is to it. Thank you.